Okay, what we're going to work on is an extension to what you did yesterday with Damien. He had you up here playing full court man-to-man -man defense, going from here, going to the halfway and coming back. So what we're going to break down now, so that was the drill, we're going to break down the footwork you need to do that. So in full court, you've got to have the ability to slide. You've got to have the ability to slide and that guy runs and then go and cut him off and turn him. And then when you turn him, you've got to have the ability to drop step. So you've got to have the ability to slide. You've got to have the ability to slide and then sprint and go. And then you've got to have the ability to cut him off and turn him to a teammate. So maybe you're trapping or what you're doing. But if you want to play full court defense, you've got to have those skills. Okay? So that's what we're going to work on. So what we'll do, because we've got a big group, so the coaches can see, I want you just to spread out along the sideline there. Put the basketballs in, the, uh, in there and spread out along the whole full court. Okay, you guys just watch while I demonstrate to the coaches. Coaches, we're going to use this uh, when we go in the half court thing, but we'll use the same footwork in the, in the full court. Defense is all about angles, whether it's full court or half court. In the full court, we're trying to influence the ball somewhere, get the ball out of the middle of the floor. Okay? Or we might be pushing the ball to the middle, whatever it is. We might be trying to turn in the trap but you've got to have some footwork that's about angles. So what we're going to do is we're going to learn how we just the basic sliding in our defence. And to do that, we've got to be in our stance, down in our universal stance, whether it's offence or whether it's defence, we're in this stance. All right? And what we've got to have the ability to do is to push and lead and to defend. So I'm on the ball, so my nose is on the ball, my lead hand's on the ball, this one's in the passing lane. But the footwork we need is that direction. We need to lead with this foot in the direction we're going and we've got to push with our lead. So it's wide to wider. That's sliding. Wide to wider. Okay? So that's what we're going to just do this way. You guys all face that way. Get in the universal basketball stance. All I want you to do is slide across to this line and back. Where you go, slide. And back. Okay, let's go, slide again. Wide to wider. Okay, now guys, your balance comes from your head. So you need your head straight down through the core, straight through the ground. Just put your head forward. Just lean your head forward like that. If you lean forward, you're going forward. If you lean here, you're going. Your head's got to be in the middle. It's like you're in a box. Boom. You're ready. You're balanced. So get down and be in this position. The next thing, we want to have quick feet. Wide to wider. Bang. Move those feet like a crab. Stance. Let's go. Down. Go. Don't, feet don't come together. Wide to wider. Stance. Go. Okay, when we're going that way, which foot do we push first? Okay, we're pushing our right foot when we go right. When we're going left, we, pu we, push with our, we lead with our left foot and push with our right. Stance. Go. Okay, guys, not bad. But we, can't do, we don't do this. Head's got to stay. Head, see my head? Boom. Here, my feet move, different to my hands. Stance. Go. Good. All right, next one we've got to have for the full is you're going to slide three. One, two, three. Then you're going to push and you're going to run. Sprint till you get to here. And then you're going to slide to the other side of the floor. So you're going to slide, run, slide. Stance. Go.
Go! Okay, then no, that's not too bad because we do go. I don't want you to go quick. What I want, we're working on our footwork. So what I want to see is sliding, head position. When I get to here, I want to see this. That, run, get to here. That. Got it? Stance. Don't go quick. Slide, go. Wide to wider, don't bring your feet together. Run, slide. Good, stance. Go. Pretty good. Okay. Stance. Go. Now, coaches, watch how they're leading. Watch whether those feet are coming together. All right? All right, let's get uh, three lines. One guy there. One line here, one line here. Good. This is what this line, what you're going to do, when you're playing defense and you change direction, what do you use? What's the footwork used to change direction when you're on defense? It's a drop step. So that's what we're going to work on now. So what we want you to do, all right, if you're dribbling the ball this way, we're going to slide. And now he changes direction. We're going to drop step here. Here, cut him off and go. All right, so the things we want to do, all right, I'm defending the ball. This is containment, full court pressure. My nose is on the ball. I'm worrying the ball here. This hand's in the passing lane. So your feet and arms must have moved different. So you're going to slide across three slides. Then you're going to drop. And when you drop, you're going to rip this arm and this leg through, and you're going to dig down. And you're going to slide. Then you're going to rip through. Notice my head. See where my head is? I'm not looking where I'm going. You're defending the ball. Turn and face your partner. Watch you don't trip over that. Left leg up. Left leg up. Now you guys stay. All right. Ready to go? Frank, come over here. Go. Three slides. No, 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 you stay. Defense. Defense, go. Go. Drop step and go. Just go. When they get to the halfway line, tell them to go. Keep going all the way, just three slides. Now, what you what you'll tend to happen, what will tend to happen is they'll start to dance. They'll dance. So that's why I only go three. So you want three choppies, and then go. Now, guys, why are we looking, Brian? Why, when you're on defence? And you're sliding, why are you looking there? What are you defending? So you, you got your eyes and your nose has got to be on the ball. Okay, your eyes and your nose is on the ball. You guys should be over there. You're over here. You're over here. We want 45 degree angle. So if I'm defending you, I'm influencing the ball to the sideline over foul line extended. Once I get to the foul line, we're pushing to the halfway line. So what we want is here, three slides, drop, three slides, drop, three slides, drop. Okay? But listen up. When we get to the halfway line, I want you to run, slide, run to the baseline. Just sorry, just jog to the baseline. All right? Just jog to the baseline when you get to the halfway line. Stance, go. Don't dance. Don't bring your feet together. Don't bring your feet together. Dig.
So what I'm mindful of, coaches, it's a long day for them. So if I get them sliding the whole way, by the end of the day, they're going to be absolutely knackered. What we're going to do now is we're going to go full court using those three things we just learned. So we're going to slide a couple, three. We're going to sprint, get to here. We're going to drop step, slide for three. We're going to run over to the halfway line. We're going to drop. We're going to turn and we're going to run to those angles. So you're going to slide three, you're going to turn and sprint, you're going to cut him off at the cone, you're going to do a good drop step, you're going to get down and slide for three, then you're going to push and get to the halfway line and you're going to do those. Good? Now where's your nose going to be? On the ball. You're not looking where you're going there, you know where you are on the court. You are defending me who's driving there. So you've got to have your here, right looking here, and you know where you are. Don't look for that. Just get over there, then drop. Awareness of where you are. Once he gets half court, you're in charge to let him know when to go. So on and so on. Okay? Go! Drop step. Run, sprint. Drop step. Turn and run, sprint, drop step. Angles. Three slides, drops, three slides, then sprint, then drop step. When you're defending, you've got to help teach your players awareness of where they are on the floor. Okay, we've got to have pushed the side, whatever you want to do, cut them off. Now you watch, the biggest problem they all do is they turn and look in the direction they're going. Instead of, you're on the ball on the ball. Why are you looking in the direction you're going? You worried about a screen? Walk over to the other side. Frank, they walk over to the other side. When you're in on-ball defence, you're defending the basketball and your teammates will tell you. Now coaches, something I should have mentioned right at the start is the defensive philosophy that I've introduced with teams I play. Here's the golden rule. I said teams are made up of individuals, but the big rule is everyone defends the basketball. Defending the basketball is everyone's responsibility. There'll be one guy in containment, there'll be one guy in denial or in pack, and there'll be maybe two or three guys could be in help, or two could be in help, and two might be in post, or one might be in post. Too. Everyone defends the basketball. Your job is defending the ball. You're on it, you're not looking where you're going, you're defending him. Right? Down in the stance. Look at the ball there, nothing else. Go. Slide, run, drop step, sprint. Drop step, sprint, sprint to that spot, change, drop, sprint. Okay, now, when you get to there, slide over to the other side. Now here, drop step and slide, slow. Drop step here, then slide, slide across, slow, wide to wider, wide to wider, wide to wider. Feet don't come together, you've got to get there, drop step and then slide. Don't look where you're going, Oreo, there. Get on the ball, slide across, don't dance. Drop step, we added something. Drop step there, slide across. Slide across. Now notice when they're sliding. Guys, that is what I call dancing. Woo, 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 woo. Let's dance, let's dance. Got to get out there, get happy down here, baby. Woo, dig it up. That's where you've got to go. We're not dancing. We're down there. We're deep. We're in there. Come on, let's get... Swap sides. Okay, go.
I talked about the uh, players might be done by the end of the day. If I keep going, I'm going to be done by that. If I still get in the stance, I'm going to be in real trouble. Down here, that's where you got to be. Drop good, three slides then run. Drop step, three slides on the ball then run. Good. Okay, down this end. Very good, good job. Okay, get in three lines here, uh, two lines. Sorry, you guys over there. Sorry, over there. Get a light and a dark match up. So just match up. Three balls here, Frank. Okay, what I want you to do now, guys, you're just going to play one on one. Here's the rules. Are you listening and watching? Good. That's what I thought you were doing. Okay, start here. You're on defence. Here. You're going to hand the ball to Oreo here. Oreo, you can only play in this third of the court. You're not allowed in the middle. You're not allowed to come in the middle. You must go in here to go and score. You're not allowed to go down the middle there. You've got to be in there. Just going to play one on one. Try and use those things. Slide, gets in front, go and cut him off. Turning, drop step, play. But when you get down to the three point line, don't let him get on the rim. Good? You guys are going there, then you'll walk across to the other line, then you'll swap over, you'll go to defense, you'll go to the offense. You guys don't go until they've down the other end there. Okay? Ready, both groups, go, play, play, go, play, come on, let's go, let's go, don't use your hands, foul there, here we go, now, coaches, don't worry about the drill for a moment, no, I'll emphasise to the guys, so I'll tell everyone at the same time, cut, chase, chase, See that there? We offense would say offer, offer operation successful patient dies. Get an uncontested layup or shot. Don't make it. We did everything right. You gotta finish it off. So when you play defence, you play with a plan, okay? So if I was defending Magic Johnson and I get him across here and I turn him. Now most, most guys who are right hand dribblers don't like dribbling with their left hand. Hey, what's the rules? When coach is talking, you listen, okay? Because I don't want to have to repeat it to every single one. So if they're right hand players, chances are you get them on their left, that's where you want them. Because they have to usually come back to pass with their right. They're not very good passing with their left. So now that I've got him on his left, now I've got to play. So even if I have to turn and run, I can just run him down into here and I can corral him in there. I don't have to cut him off and let him get onto his strong hand. I can make him just go all the way down the floor and keep him on his left hand. And you watch, though, the more you want to send them left, the more they'll want to go right. So let's see how we go here. 
Okay, where you go. Now, as a coach, if you think about coaches, here, coaches, here, listen, if you think about it, when I, if I could have taught that better, I should have had them on this side. Because I would have forced them onto their weaker hand. So think about what's their strength. Strong right, strong left. Okay? Rome wasn't built in a day. This is going to take time to teach. But remember, it's the footwork. It's the sliding, it's the running, it's the drop steps. And then having a plan. And they like to play one on one. Now you could, you could put restrictions and say just make them go in front, but I just wanted to let them see how let them play. How come we got everyone here? Okay, this group. You guys, you're first up. You're there. Next group up here, all facing this way. The guys are not in. You're here, coming in. So whoever's going first is there, everyone else here, facing him. You guys are there. You other guys just come in on the side there. So you're ready to go. Okay, get face that way. Get your left foot up. Left foot up in your universal stance. Ready, go. Good, okay, watch up. Guys, I'll demonstrate again. Get where you can see. Get where you can see. So we're going to start with our left foot up. We're going to have three slides. We're going to stay low. We're going to drop step. Notice my head is not moving. I'm not looking where I'm going. Close out. Push. Lead. Here. Drop step. Drop step. Angles. Close out. Boom. Box that guy out. Next guy in the line. Let's go. Stance, go. Push and lead. Make you guys make sure his footwork's right. Now that's a good job. Next guy up. You guys tell him when to go. You tell him when to go. Start down there. Good job. Start there. Now. That's what happens when you're old. You find the most efficient ways to go. But that's where you've got to work. Use that to teach angles. We're learning the three individual skills they need. Containment, sliding, drop stepping, closing out. Three most important things you can do. Slide, drop step, close out. Three perimeter skills. Okay, hold up. Pretty good. Pretty good. Let's get our uh, extra guy in there. So you're here. You're facing that way. You guys watch. You're facing that way. Left foot up. Left foot up. Do exactly what we just did. All right? I'm going to tell you stance. Hold up. Listen. You're going to be defending the basketball. Don't look where you're going. Slide. Ready? Stance, hey, ball here. This is what you're defending. Don't worry about there. This is what here. Stance, go. Go, do it, do it, do it. Good. Next two guys in. Let's go. Go. Next two in. Okay. So now, teach it one. I know it. Now I add the other guy in. We get to it quicker. So we get them all going. Now, if we had two courts, there's three more circles. So you have two on each one. So you get quicker again. Don't worry, don't worry, just play. Hey, don't worry about making mistakes. Just get back in front and go. Woo. Don't forget the boxing out. Give him some. Yeah, like it, like it. Good, 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 good. Stop. 
Stop. Very good, guys. Very good. Okay, down here. Very good. All right. Let's get uh, who's our first two guys up. Let's let Nick, you just come up with the ball at the top there. Yeah, just three point line at the top. I'm going to be on the 45. So what we're going to do now, we did it one on zero. Now we're going to play one on one. We've got the footwork. Now we're going to play one on one. Cool? So this is what we do. Pass the ball. Come and get a handoff. You're going to be on offense. Yep. I'm on defense. Here's our defensive rules. All right? First thing, I've got to have ball pressure. Why? Why do, I have, why do I have to have ball pressure? If I stand off there, what can you do? Shoot? What else can you do? Pass. So I might be here. You can hear the guy cutting to the bucket, but I want to be here. I want to be worrying the ball. I want to be here. I want to be in here. here. I want to be worrying the ball. So he can't just stand there and go, oh, he's open, he's open, oh, we're running this cut. We want him to be fighting. We want to try and get him on the back foot. So the first thing, ball pressure. Second thing, guys, I've got to be lower than you. Why? Because uh, <laughs> I'm quicker, yeah. okay? I can be quick and I'm ready to go. The third thing is, I've got to stay between him and the basket. Now, what I'm trying to do is get him to go at the angles that we just worked on in the circles. And if I do that, drive, I'm going to get him below this hash mark. He gets behind there, that's no good. That's not good for him. If he goes to the front, I drop step and I've got to get him atop that line. Now, if he goes that way, where are you going? You're going out the door. You ain't going to the bucket. So when you're here, you don't want. Now, he's going to fake me a thousand times because what he wants me to do, he's going to fake there, so I go. And then that'll give him that driving lane. So I would need to stay in his driving lane the whole time. So my challenge is to worry the ball, right? Worry the ball and make him beat me below there or below there. And we'll show because we got four other guys helping him, okay? And they could be in deny or they could be in help. So you got, when you're defending him, it's you and four other guys, okay? So let's do that here. Who's, who's your partner? Get, get a dark, quick, over there. Okay, let's go, let's play. Ball pressure, play. Good. Okay, now, stop. What would happen in a real game? Yeah, but what would happen after you scored? You'd go that way, wouldn't you? So what's going to happen is you're going to stop him, then straight away, you guys are going to go one-on-one -on -one, all the way down that sideline. You are not allowed in the middle of the floor. All right? And then what we want to try and use is that footwork that we just practiced before. Sliding, running, doing that, playing with a plan. So let's go, let's play. So what we want is, let's get the other guys lined up behind with the ball. Let's get the defenders over there. Let's, let's, sorry guys, to demonstrate, let's do it on this side so the coaches can see better. Quick, so you're at the top, you got the ball, you're on the 45. Okay, you guys with the basketball, quick, up here behind Nick. Let's go, let's go. Other guys there, 45 ready to come in. Now remember, when you guys change, you've got to go down that sideline. You're not allowed in the middle of the floor. That's it. You can only play in this sideline. So when you guys are playing, whoop, down there. Right, let's go. Play, ball pressure, ball pressure. Box out. Play, go, down the left. Next, no, whoa, 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 wait. Wait, here we go. 
Go, you guys go. Sorry. Don't go straight away. Frank, just have these, don't, just let them play. Just let them go. As soon as they get the three quarter court, get the next group going. How many dribbles do you You dribble whatever you like. Play. Go, go, get it and go. Defend. No, you guys wait. Play. You don't play with your feet, not your hands. Ball here, let's go. Feet, put into a position. Don't foul, let's go, play. That's a foul. Go, play, down the sideline. Cut him off. You're not allowed down the middle. Down the sideline. Now. Coaches. The thing will be is, and what you don't want your players worried about is getting beat. You want ball pressure, but you're trying to get them to get beat at angles. And that faking, they're all, or deception as Damien calls, is what happens. You've got to, anytime someone fakes you, you just go back in your stance. You never go the direction they're going. You've got to know where you are. Pass the ball, go and get a handoff. You guys are playing one on one. Okay, here's how we now start to build our team defence. With the teams that I've been involved, when the ball is on the 45, you have the top and the bottom eye filled. Always. Everyone defends the basketball. So now, you've got two guys helping you. Your job is to have ball pressure, and keep him in front of you. If he beats you, he's got to go through the top and you will be here waiting for him. Right in this position on the split line in here. Okay? You're on here, just in this charge. You won't go past this charge block line here. Okay? So if he drives baseline, you've got to get him past that area. Got it? You're still going that way. You guys do not rebound. You must box him out. But you guys are there to help. When he drives, what you do is take the charge. You don't try and block, block his shot. You're just in there and you take the charge. Got it? If he drives baseline, you're taking the charge. Hey, you just defend him. Don't worry about anything else. These guys have got your back. So you get ball pressure. I don't want you getting up and getting in because that's a foul. I want you here worrying the ball and using your feet. Ready? Let's play. Box out! Box! Get it and go. Down. Where you go. Get the ball. Go. You two guys are now up. Next two guys in. Pass the ball to him. No, no. Stay there. Here. Who's his partner? Who's his partner? Duck. Dark. Here we go, light and dark, sorry. Good. You're at the bottom, you're at the top here. Ready? Go. You're at the top here. Good. You're here. You're help. You're help D. Help D, you're on defense, not offense. You're defense. Go. Here. Go. You're at the top. Next two guys in. Throw the ball. You guys are on defense. Here. Top and bottom eye. Here. You're not defending. You're help. Pass, go and get your hand off. Stop, stop, stop. There's four guys over here. You've you got to operate in this third. You go, hey guys, you've got to get your shot off in this third. You can't dribble over there. There's going to be eight people over there. Hand off, let's go. So now what we're doing, we're doing one-on-one -on -one containment and we're teaching our help principles and we're building our team defense, okay? So what, what we'll do now is we'll give them a go through, we'll give them a go through and then we'll explain what the go is. Next two guys, next two guys in. Ball there. Low, high, go. Just stand here, just stand here with your hands up. Box out. No, you don't rebound. Don't rebound. Get it. Go. Stop. 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 Okay. Take the shot. Quick over here. Now we're playing a game. What happens in the game when he shoots it? You box him out. Then what happens? 
get the ball and bust it. Then go. Yeah. So that's what we're doing. The game doesn't just stop it. You play the game like this. Okay? Shoot it. Box him out. Play. Go. Go. Next two guys up. Next two guys in. We need a ball. You guys need a ball. Quick. Your top eye, your bottom eye. Let's go. Ball pressure. Worry it. Good. Go, go, go. Now. Coaches. Coaches, what shot is the offense now getting? He's not getting a layup, and he's not getting an uncontested layup. So now he has to shoot a runner, he's got to shoot a jump shot, he's got to create a shot. But we're starting to build our team defense. Okay? So we're getting, we're getting a bonus with the offensive guy, and we're getting a thing with the guy on D. Are we back to the start? Play, play, let's go. Whoa, you can't go there. Whoa. You know, you're not let, there's eight people over here. Go back. You gotta score. You gotta score in here. So if you go in there, you better shoot a jump shot. Alright? You better be there. Charge. He's going in the eight thousand defenders. Dude, worry, worry. Box him out now. Let's go. Go, good shot. Go, pick him up. Wait, wait. Stop, 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 stop. When you go down the sideline, you're not allowed to go in the middle. So you have to drive down here and you've got to get some sort of move and score. Okay, let's take our defense a little bit further. What is your two guys' responsibility when he has the ball? Go, pass over. What are you guys telling your buddy? Well, you've got to talk to him. Help base, help in the middle. And your stance is not like this. Your stance is down like this. Because you're two passes away. So you're in a flat triangle or pistols position. Because you've got to play the ball to your man. And your man is over there at the moment. So you're in this position. Your man's there, so you're playing like this. You're playing, if he gets driven baseline and goes, boom, then you take the charge. We don't stand here like this. So you guys are in a stance, down here. So you pass it out and you get in a stance. And now you move in your head, you're pointing. Got it? You guys go, let's go. Exactly the same, you're going down the side. Good shot. But that's what we gotta teach, pull up jumpers. Kids today, whoo, all on the rim, okay, or they're shooting three. Got to have, got to have the pull up, Joe. That's why we do that in the running. Play, go, go down the side. Get up, get the ball. Good D, that's done. Here we go. So this is important that you understand the teaching process. We're all about containment, but we've actually also started to implement our team defensive rule. Now we're just working on an individual skill, containing the ball. But we've also now got some rules for our health team. And that's what we'll do with all the drills going forward. Now at the moment, we're teaching it like this, because we're teaching the skill not the drill. Now what I'll do is, as we get to know this, I'm going to show how we would do it, working everyone at both ends. And that's why you go down the side. No one's allowed in the middle. Now the good thing that helps, see how we got him using his left hand? So as a coach, if you do it that way, you're teaching them to use their left hand and they don't even know it. Okay? But they'll want to go right, that's what you've got to go there. Frank, hold them up. Good job. Okay, let's get six guys down there. 
We need, uh, let's just have one ball. Let's get the others there. Let's get six guys here. Who's the next two guys here on offense? Who's the next two guys down there on offense? So this is what we want to set up. Set up what we just had here over there. Quick, let's go. Who's the two guys on help? Who's the bottom guy? You guys are coming in the bottom one. Nah, you guys have got to be on this side, over here. You got to be on this side, offense. Okay, when I say go, you guys are going to do exactly what we've just done. You're going to play one on one there. You're going to dribble the ball down this side. Okay? You guys are going to play one on one here. And you guys are going to dribble down that side. You guys will stay in just there. You guys will stay in there. So when you two guys come down the side here one on one, you guys are going to be the top and bottom eye of Phil. And then when we both finish, you'll go guys to offense, you guys will come in. So when I say go, you're going to pass there. Whoa, whoa. What, Ryan, what did I say? When I say go, okay, you're going to pass there. You guys are going to play, listen. You guys are going to play. So you two guys will be going. You guys will stay and wait for them to come down. And we'll play one, two groups going one on one. We good? We ready? Okay. You get Nick. What's our defensive stance off the ball? Flat triangle. Point of demand. Ball. You guys in the stance? Get in the stance. Go. Ball pressure. Ball pressure. Go. 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 Good. Next group up. Good. Next group up. Don't go until I go. Now, fellas, when you get the ball here on offense, you don't have all day to decide what move you're going to do. You've got to get it and you've got to play. Okay? You guys get in the stance, stay. You'll take a charge there. You'll take a charge here. Okay? Then you guys play. Ready? Go! Frank. Got to get that shot up, mate. Let's go. I'll just get him down again and I'll get you going. So you got to wait for both finish yeah. and get them set up. Yeah. Then when they're ready, just say go. No, just say go. Because okay. I'm going to Next group, get ready. Who's up? Who's up? Go! Now, after this one. Now, coaches, forget the drill for a moment. What's the skill we're learning? One on one containment half court, the ball pressure full court. So we're, we're doing half court D to full court. So now you are teaching transition defense, going from offense to defense, defense to offense, playing one on one. Making him go down the sidelines, sideline break. Remember yesterday when we did the fast break? Sideline break. This afternoon when we come back and do drags, you'll see us go down the side and you'll see a big come in and scream. So we're working on individual and full court and transition. Good? Hey, don't forget, these guys have not done this drill before. This is the first time they've seen it. And they're on to it. It's good. Okay, so you're going to have to have some patience. They aren't going to get it all right. Good. Play with your feet. Don't reach. Two guys, when you come up, we're going to have two guys up. And we're going to have a foot on the lane line. We're going to be in this position. All right? I'll demonstrate and then we go. So we're going to work on our footwork needed for when we're one pass away, guard the forward. 
Here's a question. How many offenses start with a guard to forward pass? It's not trick. A lot? 99.99 or 90 plus, whatever it is. So one of our defensive strategies might be to put ball pressure and deny that pass onto the wing. So we need some footwork to be able to do it. So the footwork we use is a closed stance. So we're going to go, in basketball, 90% of your defense is off the ball and you're in open, or sorry, there's three guys, because one guy might be one pass away. But m most of it is without the basketball. So what we're going to do is, when the coach will be here and will say go, we're going to go to a closed stance, and we're going to go wide to wider footwork. And we're going to straddle the three-point line. Pass is there, so I've got to see the, the ball, and I've got to be in this position. This hand will be here, so if he backdoors, he can push me and I can go. So I'm in this position, and now he cuts, and now I'm out wide, I see it. And I'm down here to the bucket, and I'm back out here. Then I'm going to come back in here two times. Okay? Then I'm going to open up. Two guys up. So guys, this footwork is... All I want you to do is start fencing with your teammate. Partner up, come on, fence with me. Let's go. Fence, fence. Come on, on the air, on the air. Eba, Eba, come on. That's the footwork. That's the footwork you're using right there. So you're going to do this. You look worried. Now. Don't be worried. Here, go. Close the stance. Ah, ah, ah. Stance. You guys ready? Watch. Go. Slide. On the lay. On the lay. Woo. Good. Snap. That's really good. When you go this way, snap. Where's the ball? Come in here. Ah, ah, ah. Next two up. Stance. Go. Snap. Hit. Woo. Snap it out. Wide the wider. Don't bring your feet together. Open up. Open up at the end. Ah. Open up to the ball. Next two up. Go. Snap that head. Straddle the three-point line. Don't bring your feet together. Ah. Ah. Next two up. You guys good? Stance. Go. Nick, snap your head. Snap your head. You gotta see, just come out here, quickly. Quickly, Nick. When, you go, when you're defending, go out and go slide backwards. Slide out. When you snap your head and hand, snap your head. You've got slide. Here, but you gotta see the ball here. So you gotta, you gotta be there. The ball's there. So the defender, I gotta see where that ball's coming. If I got my head here, I can't see the ball. All right, so. What I want you guys to do now, the guy in this line, you're the captain. Get your teammate ready. When he says go, you guys do your thing. Good? So, guys, 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 guys. Simple to complex. Could you imagine me trying to teach that last drill? Show them the drill, teach them the footwork, that's why you call breakdown. So you want to teach the individual skill and then progress it. What I'm trying to show you, how we teach it in a team environment, where we can use that skill, but also work on our team defensive rules. OK. Guys, hold up, hold up. Now. Get set down there, you next two guys up. Next two guys up. Now, instead of Frank saying go, the person in the left line there, you're the captain. 
So you'll say to your buddy, stance, go, and you'll do your thing. The difference is this time, instead of going out, back, out, and back, you're going to go out, back, and when you get here, slide across, and then you're going to get across here, snap back, and then you're going to finish. Let's go, Captain. Is he ready? Go. Where's the ball? Where's the ball? Where's the ball? Better. You got to know where the ball is. Boom. What we're doing is, who are we give in charge to the drill to? Players. They play the game. Whoa. Did you say go? Yeah. Did you? I didn't hear you. Sorry. I'm getting old, so. You're not asking your girlfriend for a kiss. Right? So you don't have to whisper in her ear. Stance! Go! Be loud and proud. Open the closed stance. So that's what we're learning here. Open the closed, open, closed. That's what the game goes from. You go from open stance to closed stance all the time. Nick, you guys good with that? You good? Okay. Guys, down here, let's go. Next, let's get, uh, Nick, let's get you up. Who's your partner? Uh, ben. Who? Ben. Okay, Ben. You guys on the baseline, quickly. Frank, do you want to be a passer in the middle for us? Do I need No. Nah. You don't need a ball. Just go and stand in there. Uh, we need a ball for Nick. You guys on D, offense and defense, go to the 45 over here. Who's the next two guys up? Brian, you be the passer at the top, you're in the bottom eye. Brian, you're going to go from offense to defense. What you're going to do is, Nick, you've got to get open. You're in denial. So now, coaches, we're working on defense, but you're really working on leading and getting open on offense. So you've got to get open, and when you get open, we're going to pass you the ball. And then you're going to play one on one just like we did before. So, your job is try not to let him get a catch there. Okay? When you pass Brian, you're going to go and be the top eye. Tim, I think it is it. You're the bottom eye. And remember, you're not allowed, you're going to take a charge. Not going to block a shot, not going to do that. So, when you come here, so when you go to defense, Nick, you'll pick it up, you'll dribble the ball down, you'll pass the Frank and you'll then go and play one-on-one -on, -one on the wing down there in denial. Good? Here we go. Play. Let's go. Get, yeah, there it is. Finish. Good. Get it and go. Drive it down. Pass the Frank. Pass the Frank. Pass the Frank. Down to 45. Frank, get taller, will you? Grow up. Frank, grow up. What are you doing? Okay, now you guys are in one-on-one -on -one here. Denial. Here we go. Play. Let's go. Play now, get it and go, play. Next two up, ready, go. Play, go, go. Go, Brian, make a move. Good, box out, Timmy, box out. Pick him up, one on one. Down, trans D, bumping, Brian, bumping. There it is, nice cut. Next two guys, go. Okay, got it. Now, coaches, is this game like? This is, so we're working on that. So we'll take this again and we'll put the next, like we did the next part. And I'll show you how we do that. But our guys are going. Where's our, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, are you on strike? Are you on strike? No. Come on, mate. The union's not allowed here. Go back there, where should you be? Where? When you pass the ball, you're going defence. So who, you got it? 
You've got to help your teammate. He drove right in there, didn't you? You come right to this spot and that's where you should have been. Because you, you didn't watch the drill. So you're going to pass, you're going to go from offence to defence. Right, ready? Get up, get... Deny, whoa, 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 deny. Up here, here. Boom, worry that thing. So when he goes, go, cut back door. Here, here, I'm down here. They're going to go, he's going to get it. Well, that's what's going to happen. But you don't let them come down and go, oh, we're running this, this, this. And it starts with a guard the forward pass. Make them work. Hey, talk to him. Hey, talk to him, Oreo. Help baseline. Let him know. Hold up here. Who plays the game? Why didn't you help Oreo? What, what stance should Oreo be? So you're in an open stance, point at the ball, in here, because your defender is really over here. Okay, because he's going to come in here. So you need to be in a flat triangle where you can point here and point here. Okay? So as soon as he gets it, that's what you're in. Let's go, let's get open. There you go. Nice, oh, great shot. Go, go! Pass it, pass it, pass it, cut, cut, cut. Don't wait for him, but you've got to pass to Frank and then cut. Next two up, go. Get on defense, defense. There you go, take the charge. There you go, box out, Oreo. Good, get the ball, go down the sideline. Down the sideline, go, go. Pass to Frank. Wait, wait. Good, good cut. Way to get open. Next group, go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Watch our three defensive rules. Or four. Get the ball here. Quick. What's our first defensive rule? Ball pressure. Why are you standing off? You're worried about getting beat, aren't you? Okay, that's fine, but that guy over there might be. Because this is your one, we've got four other guys. They might have a fantastic post play. Oh, oh the post play is open, give him the ball. So what's your job? We'll get into him. Okay, and have a plan. So then you've got to be lower, you've got to stay between him and the bucket. Right, play, let's go. The other thing you find by doing that is they don't get layups. So they've got to, they got to learn to shoot a pull-up jump shot or to have a floater. Because they're not going to get on the rim. And that, don't, that doesn't happen. That's what Damien was stressing yesterday in the clean. How many times when you shoot a layup is it uncontested? It's not. So this replicates that thing. Got to get open. Okay, hold up. Let's get six guys down there. Quick. You down there, let's go. Six guys, set the drill up. Six guys here, let's go. Hey. No union meetings here. Listen to what's going on, talking. You're over. Who's your partner? Who's his partner? Well, defend him. Your bottom eye. Okay, you guys, you ready to go? Now, the difference being here is when you come back this way, he's going to they're going to pass the ball to you. Okay. All right? And then they're going to come down, and they're going to go that, and then I'm going to go in and be help. Got it? So, coaches, if you want... You could have this guy here and then it passes. You could put him to the bottom eye if you want to progress it. But just teach it here. We're good. When the coach says go, both groups will go. Nick, what side do you got to go down? Offense down the left side. You got to go down the left side. You got to pass to the guy at the top there. Who's the passer now? You ready? Go. 
So because we had the containment one, then the deny one happens, and then the next one will be help and recover. Now, I'm not going to hey, I'm not going to go into trans D rules about bumping the guy at the three point line or whatever, but that's what should be happening. Okay? But I'll just stress again think about every offence that's run and think about how many offences start with a guard to forward pass. So when you're a coach, make sure you have a pass entry, make sure you have a dribble entry, make sure you have a post entry. Make sure you have a counter. I'm digressing. Now, hey, you got guys, guys, listen up. Coach is talking, listen. It's all right. The help D doesn't go and block shots. The help D takes charges. If he comes in the key here, you can go up and challenge the shot, but take Take a charge. Okay, don't run out here because your man's going to go under the bucket and they're going to go, ah, oh, boom. And he's going to have a layup. Because don't forget, you've still got a defender here. So you've got, you've got to be in here. Now we're more than one pass away. We're in help. So the ball is here. Okay? The defender's over here. So some people have... Split line, some people have lane line. We must have ball pressure. So he can't just throw a real pass there. So our footwork for the closeout. This position, we were talking about our help position in our drills, is an open stance. Play the ball, see your man. Old school basketball, flat triangle. I don't know what the modern terminology is, but I'm old school. So that's the flat triangle. So my footwork needed is when that ball is in the air, I've got to push and lead. So I've got to push here and lead. So that goes, and then I've got to close out. Now there's all the different ones with your head back or whatever it is, but I've got to then get and arrive as the ball rides. I cannot arrive he, I can't arrive like that and be closing out there. I must arrive when the ball arrives. So you might need lane line to arrive as the ball arrives, depending on the pressure. Okay? This is how we teach it. Uh, on the baseline, let's go. Two chairs. Frank, do you want to set this up at the other end for us? Two chairs. I'll, you, I'll take these two. You just do what I do. Okay. Get in that open stance where we've two guys, just two guys. Down there, remember when we did denial? Start the same way. Down there on the baseline, let's go. Okay, I'm captain. Down here on the baseline. We're going to learn on the baseline. We're going to learn the footwork first, close out. So we're in a stance. When I say go, we're going to push and lead. All right? And what we're going to do is we're going to close out and we're going to have our left foot up. So just watch me and then you'll do it. Go. Close out. Boom. Left foot up, drives to the middle. I cut him off over the top. That's what we're doing. You're up. You're going to have your right foot up on this side. So you close out, right foot up here, touch the chair, over the top here. First two guys up. Stance. Go. Next two guys, go. Stance, go. Good, next two guys up. Go. All right, guys, watch. When I say go, you are pushing, short step, here, go. Close out, left foot up here, right foot up there. So we are forcing to the middle. Six guys down there with Frank. Let's go. Now, guys, you're in charge here, Oreo. Get your teammate ready. Start. Three, two, one, go. Next two up. 
your captain. No, you are. So again, we're not doing that drill. What we're doing is we're teaching the footwork in help D. So I'm going that direction, just like I slide, same thing. As soon as that ball goes, I do this. Boom. Boom, into a closeout. I'm going to teach both. Watch. So you're, you're either going to close out with your left foot up or your right foot up. Or close up square and then drop step. Whatever your rules are. You might want to force the middle. Okay, hold up. We're going to change over. On this side, you are closing out with your right foot up and you're going to drop the guy over. And now you've got to force him below this hash mark. Good? So if, if, you're, if you're coaching and you have that, you might be in the middle here and they're running the drill. So you can, you can go from it. So if you don't have extra coaches, you set it up. That's why you get the players organised to know what they're doing. Got a handle on this? Okay, down here, let's go. Frank, just grab that other chair for us, please, mate. Let's get our four guys up. Two, who's defending him? Okay, let's get uh, two guys down that end. I'm a 45. Help. Okay. So what's going to happen? This guy's picked the ball up, so we've got pressure here. So you're here. You're going to skip the ball over, you're going to close out. You're going to go from there, you're going to go to the bottom eye. When you pass, you're going to the top eye. So you'll pass. So as we pass it over to there, he's going to close out. You're going to go to the bottom eye. I'm going to go to the top eye. You're on the bottom eye. We're both defending the ball, just like we did in all the other drills we've done. Got it? Got that? And then what happens is from here, when you, play, when you get the ball, what you're going to do is, you can, you're going to throw it. Just Frank, you just be there for a second till we go. Just come down here, guys. Frank, you be there. So what you'll do is, you'll throw it to Frank, and then you'll go opposite. You'll just go down the middle of the lane, yep, and then go from there. I'll, I'll walk you through it. Okay, here we go. Let's go. Play, get to the top and bottom eye. Good. Drive it down. Drive it down. Okay, stop Brian. You're going to run down the side there. So Frank, you come to this side, because if he's going to come out that side. So go down to help. Go down to help. You're in help. Brian, go to the wing. Next two guys, next four guys up. Let's go. Offense 45. 45. Out here. You're down here. Ball pressure. So Nick, when he throws it, you're going bottom eye, you're going top eye. You've got to close out using that footwork. Right, go. Throw it. Go, top eye. Play, one on one. Be there. Good. Drive down the right hand side. Drive down the right hand side. Throw it to Frank. Throw it to Frank. Go to the opposite wing. No, no, go to the opposite wing. You jump to the ball and be in help. Skip it. Close out now. Play. Next two, let's go. Next group up. Ball there. Quick, get a ball. On the, be up on the ball. Pressure it. Let him throw it. Then you're going to run to the bottom eye. You're going to the top. Okay, where you go. Close out. 
Go. Bottom eye, top eye, top eye. Go. Ball pressure. Ball pressure, Nick. You got help down there. Good. Now hold on, hold on. Now you're not going to be able to do that in the game. Yeah. You can't take 85 dribbles because there's going to be another guy's defense. Drive it down the right or down the middle, pass the Frank, pass the Frank, go opposite, go into the help position in the middle, defend the ball. Okay. Help. Where's the ball? So what are we defending? Uh, help. Yeah, okay, and what stance should you be? Open. Point the ball, oh, then, point, then you close out. So get in that open stance. Just relax, hey, relax, chill out. Down a little bit, float here. Hey, you've got you to gotta be loose. Like, let's, let's spar, come on, get loose, get loose. That's you got to loosen up, that's it, get a smile on your face. Have some fun. Right, let's go. Yeah, good D. Oh, I love it, love it. Drive it down, drive it, drive it, drive it. Pass the Frank, go wide. Get in help, wide, get on the wing, on the wing. Good, play, play. Got a handle on it? We good with that? Now this one, you, you can only do it this way. If you try and teach it with all the red, it's gonna to be too hard. So just teach it this way is the best way. So what we're going to do now is our footwork for post-defense. How we teach someone that footwork. Now, when we teach leads, right, pushing and leading, that is the same for post-D. This is how one of the things I teach with this. So I'll start over here, and we use the circles again. Now this area, Post play is normally played here. Wide at the bottom, wide at the top. Okay, in this stance. So now we push and lead around. Around like this. You've got to have your feet, you move. Okay? That's what happens down here. You've got to be able to move your feet. Whether it's around the back, underneath. Or you're trying to seal off on offense. So it's a good footwork to have. Okay, so we're going to use the circles to do that. All right? Then we're going to go to the chairs and use the chairs. So we'll need three chairs down there. So guys, what we want is let's get uh, four guys there, four guys there, four guys there, the rest down on that one over there. Let's go. Two guys up here. You guys watch. Okay, first two guys up. First two guys up, facing that way. Brian, you're here. Who's your partner? Okay, you start here. Okay, you're the captain. When you say go, you guys are going to go around the other side and then back. Ready? Go. Okay, guys. Anyone see anything wrong? Who was watching the drill over there? Didn't I say hands up? You're in the post. You're not guards now, you're post. So you're sealing to get open, but it's the same footwork to defend someone going underneath. Ready, go. Next two guys up. You guys got it? Well, you go, let's go. Set it up and go. Nick, don't worry about that. Here, one guy here, face that way. Your captain, when you say go, you're going to slide around here, then back around again. Stance. Arms up, Oreo, up here. Wide and open, seal that guy off. So, what we're learning is the footwork first. Okay, we go, we're learning the footwork. That footwork post D is to go behind. That is when you, and I'll explain to the players as well. Okay. Okay, hold up, we've got to move this along. All right, you guys on the, uh, 
Just get a guy on this chair, a guy on that chair, same down there. I'll be the guy on this chair. Nick, you're coming in here. Now, guys, that footwork we just used is when I'm defending the post. Here's our defensive post rules. Number one, we're supposed to dominate the block. So in transition, we don't let them come to this spot. You've got to fight for this position. But if they do, the ball is above the foul line. And the post guy's there. How many passes away are we? Post guy's there. How many passes away? One? So we're in denial. Ball above the foul line, we're in denial. We don't let the guy flash cut. We're here, but we should be on the block. So we should want him down lower. Okay? Might be better. Nick, you come in there. Better if it's real. So I should be here, so I want to be in that position. But if he gets that spot, I'm here. Coach, can you just go there for me, please? All right. Now, if Frank passes the ball there, there's two things I can do. I can either go over, but when it's skipped to the corner, I've got to go underneath. And that was the footwork we just used. OK? So if it gets skipped to the corner, I've got to go behind. Coach, just come up high for us. Frank, you have the ball. If it goes to the ball here, now, I can, if he's not a good post beat player, I can play behind. But if he's good, then I've got to front. So my footwork is I've got to get in front. Or I've got a three-quarter front. So what we're going to teach is side, front. Ball got past the corner, side. Where's the ball? It gets passed back to the coach. Here, pass the Frank. Boom. Here, pass the coach. Boom. Front, pass the corner. Boom. I'm here. If it got skipped, I'd be under. So that's the footwork we need. Defense, you've got to go behind. Three-quarter front, front, three-quarter front. Here's what we're doing. No, no. Chair. Here. You on the high side? Where's the ball? There, good. High side. Where's the ball? There. Where's the ball? Here. Good. Okay. Front. Good. Where's the ball? Here. Gets past. Where do you do now? Rip. Good. Now you're in denial. Just like we were before. Pass. Front. Pass. Deny. Good. Skip. Go underneath. That footwork we did. Underneath. Good. Rotate the next spot. Rotate down. Come in. You're in denial. You're in... No, no. This side. On the inside. So over here, the ball is there. So deny, get in that position. Front! Deny! Rip, rip through, good. Front! Deny! Skip! Under, under, good. Rotate. Deny! Front! Deny! Front! Deny. Skip. Good. Okay, we've got to move this along a little bit. We good? All right. Now, so our footwork, you got to, you got to wide to wide. You got to keep moving those feet. Okay. You got to be active. In it. Good with that. Okay. Now, to teach it some more, I want you to take charge of the drill. I want you to go side, front, side, the front it around, then go underneath, just what I did. Ready? Get them ready? You're not going to say it, just, just say go. I want you to see all those things. Go. Go, right. you do it. You, no, you just do it. Just do it. Don't, don't talk it. No, 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 guys, don't talk it. This is what I want. Watch out. I'll say go, then I'm just going to front, and I'm going to see where, where's the ball. There it is. Oh, they skipped past me, skipped it. Oh, here we are. Just do it. Don't call it out. Just do it. 
Side, front, side, side, front, side, underneath. Go. Just go. Go. Get Move your feet. Ball's there. So that's what you've got to do. What are we defending? The ball. Okay? Front. Boom. Deny. Boom. Front. Boom. Skip. Under. I'll just keep moving. You got a feel of it, though? What are we teaching? We're teaching the footwork. What are they defending? The ball. And that's why their eyes and their hand position should tell you whether you're fronting, whether you're on the side, three-quarter front, whatever your rules. They might not be a good post player, so you'll just play behind. But if they're dominant, you've got to have ball pressure, three-quarter or full front. Under, that's it, good. Good. Now, that's awesome, Nick. But what I want you to see is, where's the ball? All right. Oh, the ball's there, so I'm here. Oh, there it is. Oh, there, boom. Where's the ball? I'm playing the ball. Okay, down here, Frank. Down here, let's go. Everyone down here. Okay, let's get uh, Nick, who's your partner? You two guys at the top. You two guys at the top with the ball. So we need one ball between two. Who's the next two guys in? Brian, who's your partner? Go on the 45s. Go to the 45s. One there, one on this side. Okay. Here's how we're going post D. Here's our rules. All right? Our post Ds are... Here's a rule. When the ball gets passed, what our teams do is bump. We bump the passer. The passer becomes the cutter. So what we do is, instead of like jumping to the ball, what we do is bump and that might be denied. Especially a post player, he's one going to get on the rim. So here's the rules. We never let a player make an inside cut. So come here. Guys, watch up. We never let a player cut on the inside of you and get it and get a layup. Because who do we normally have here? Help. So what we want to do is we want to force him into the help. We don't want him to get to the front. So here it is. He's not allowed to cut on the front of you and you're not allowed to let him get in that spot. You're not going to let Nick get the ball in that spot. He's got to get it there, or he's got to get it there. Now, when he passes there, Tim, you're going to come and be on the bottom eye. Your same rules apply. You're just taking the charge in that spot. Got it? And you're, you're just out of it. I don't mean just out of it. I mean you're just there, ready to go. Let's play. Bumping. Good, 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 good. That's awesome. Good. Stop. Operation successful. He didn't catch it on the block. Okay? You've got to get open. Right? Try again. Get open. Go to the rim. Do something. Bumping, bumping. Don't let him get to that block. Play. Back to the basket move. Make a move. Good. Good. Now, this is what would happen. Right? This is what would happen. Who's the next two guys in the group? You guys be down there, quick. All right, stay here, Nick. So what's going to happen now is you shot it, you rebounded it, here, drive it, here, kick your head. Now we're coming down. Run to the rim, then go to the block. Then play one on one. Okay, then you guys go. Got it? Then you guys will be the next two up, then we have two new guys in. Fellas, we need a ball. We need a couple of basketballs. You'll need a basketball. You got one? You got one? Here, you, you got the ball, Nick. Frank, just take that ball, please. Here, no, no, here. Nick, you got a ball here. You ready? We're going to play now. Let's go. Bumpy, bumpy! Don't let him get to that block. 
Play, back to the basketball, Mick. Whoa, 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 whoa. We don't want that. Right. We want you here, back to the basket move. Some sort of back to the basket. Get in the block, just hit in the block. That's why you gotta get it down there, give it to him. Give me one of your back to the basket moves. Play. He ain't gonna block your shot. Whatever you want, let's go, make a move. Good, left hand, love it. Go, drive it, drive it, kick ahead. Run to the front of the rim. Bumping, bumping, Nick. Don't let him get that block. Play, back to the basket move, good. Next group ready, ball here. I want, to I want you to pass here, let's go, go. Bump, bump. So, no inside cut, dominate the block. Couple of simple rules. Yeah. Now guys, 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 guys. A basic, listen up, a basic defensive principle is when the ball is passed, what have you been taught? Jump to the ball. So as soon as he passes, jump to the ball, bump. As soon as I jump to the ball, where are you going to go, Oreo? What are you, there you're going, that's where I want you. And now I ride him, so now I ride him down here, to try and get to the block here. So I'm just riding him down here, and now we're playing. Nothing on the inside. Jump to the ball, basic defensive rules. Jump to the ball, bump. Here we go, let's play. Good, 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 got to get open. Coaches, is that easy for them to get into offense? No. That's what you want. Now the other thing we're teaching is what? Post play is about physicality. Post play is about banging bodies. What are they doing? They're banging bodies. They're going to learn to play with contact. That's the big thing. You've got to learn to play with contact in the post. You've got to learn to play with your back to the basket. Give him a hooky. Whoa, 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 whoa. You don't come and block shots. You stay there. If he runs into you, you come. I want to see you use your left hand. I want to see you use your right hand. Way you go. Let's go. Next guy up. Bumping. No inside cuts. Now, the other thing well, by doing this, you teach your guards to post up. When I, when I had a team, I used to love posting the guards up because our bigs were stretch players. Now, style of play here, you can get an edge if you teach your players the guards to post up because you can stretch the other bigs on the perimeter and be knocking, because you guys shoot the ball well. So you don't have to post up with big guys, post up with your guard. And I'll tell you what, if you get a guard that can post up, you're gonna, you're gonna get a real good advantage as a coach. 